Hi, this is Hedy from Handmade by Hedy and this is my reusable cloth pad washing routine. Hope you enjoy! I dry store all my used cloth pads in a little bucket in my bathroom. Please be warned, I show real blood in this video. Now I'm sorting through all my cloth pads and putting them in the washing machine. They have all been dry stored throughout my period and once I'm ready to wash them all, I'll just um, put them in the washing machine. And some of them are badly stained. I'm washing all my cloth pads in two parts and I'm using Vanish Oxy Action in this first part, just to scoop in the wash and pretty much let the stain pads soak in the water just to get all the blood out before really washing them. I use a 30 minute wash and a cool wash just to not set the stains. After about 10 minutes of washing, I pause the machine for one hour and let the pads soak. After about one hour, I unpause the machine and let it finish the cycle. Once the cool cycle has finished, I just check all the pads and see which ones still have some staining on them and uh, put them into piles. As you can see, the white one has still a bit of staining on it. So I use Ecovers Stain Remover. I like it because it has little bristles on the bottle and I can really work it into the stain. So I just rub it in, in all of my pads that have a little bit of staining in them and throw it into the washing machine. And also the ones without stains. And also in this wash, I throw in all my little panty liners for daily use that doesn't have any stains on them, but they still need a good wash. For the second wash, I again use a scoop well, half a scoop of OxyClean. And some washing powder. Make sure it's washing powder, not any liquids or tabs because they have fabric softener in them and you don't want to use fabric softener with your cloth pads. Side note, I think I used a little bit too much of washing powder. But I do use white vinegar uh, in the fabric softener compartment because the white vinegar helps to wash out any residual washing powder and I always use an extra rinse on my new cycle and for the second cycle I always use again 40 degrees to make sure that there's no setting stains because uh, hot water sets the blood stains and I just let it run I usually select um, about hour and a half, two hour cycle uh, with extra rinse just to make sure all the washing powder is rinsed out of the pads because that might reduce the absorbency as does the fabric softener so you don't ever want to use fabric softener make sure and once the washing cycle has ended I always do an extra spin and drain about 10 minutes or whatever if you have it in your machine to make the pads even more drier so they dry quicker later on. And as you can see the white one with the stain came out perfectly clean. And now I just snap all my pads together into a long, long line. And I can hang them to dry. 
and because I use all the same snap size on all the pads they will snap together all great and I do the same with all my panty liners and with the panty liners I do like to kind of shake them <laughs> into uh, the shape again because they are made of cotton flannel and that tends to dry uh, wrinkled but if I kind of pull them into their shape like kind of pre-ironing them I suppose well not ironing but um, kind of straightening them and they'll be nice and straight once they're all dry and again snapping them all together in a nice long line and what I do is I just hang them over a door to dry and they'll be dry now tomorrow and with this routine I have perfectly clean pads every single time if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.